we, we just did a movie you must have watched it oh you don't know how much trouble i've been exposed to because of that movie and we didn't make we just acted the trouble of which i speak i've come from pastors because they felt that if we continue with this campaign of renewal it might affect the thing they have been building with the left hand of corruption in it welcome to apostles on fire tv here you'll be getting powerful video clips that will steer you up for a glorious work with god enjoy the video thank you anytime you see the spirit of god move it is because god decided to have mercy because god will still be god if he refused to move he will still be god if he refuses to move he will still be god he will not diminish in his status but the reason why he chooses to move is not even because you prayed is because he showed mercy so when you come into that dimension to acquire grace first of all you will need to find obtain mercy yeah, but the, 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 the throne is called the throne of grace but in order for you to qualify for grace you must know how to obtain mercy first and when you obtain mercy you will find grace is it true that you love god if we see the way you spend money we'll know if you love god if there's a need in the house of god that's when we'll know if you love god we that preach the gospel we empty our purses to meet the needs it's when we cannot meet it ourselves that we make it public you never know what we do and you will never know but when god who knows all sees our efforts he can tell this one loves me that one loves me based on the sacrifices that we are willing to expose ourselves to so that the kingdom of god on the earth can advance we can tell who loves god in fact your ministry is supposed to be one of the disclosures of the things hidden in god the wisdom your, the, your ministry is a wisdom that was kept to challenge darkness in this day in this day where there is so much corruption in the body of christ the people we should be looking up to have gone strange ways and god knows that his witness is going to suffer loss he has an anticipated a time like this even before we were born and he created a mystery a strategy that is hidden in himself only those that have the ability to access such things that are hidden in God through the fellowship of the mystery can uncover such strategies that God has ordained for this season. If we want to defeat witchcraft, it's not by noise. We will need to go into realms higher than the realms that witchcraft operates from. The African church cannot tell a story of victory if we don't have an antidote to witchcraft. The revival that God is bringing on the continent is a revival that will give us access to the realms of God so that we can handle the invincible realms and reveal the majesty that is connected to them. Yes. Oh, you are in a challenge and Satan has overwhelmed you. The witches of your village have vowed that the next time you are coming home, you are coming home in a coffin. It's a good place to be. Yes, you know why that threat will make you look for God very well. You are not looking for him now. But when a threat like that comes, he encourages you to look for God, to look for you. And meanwhile, they, no matter the reason for which you are looking for him, the Bible says there's a reward for them that are diligent. <laughs> there's a reward. <laughs> I will begin to press. We will begin to press. As you are pressing, as you are going. Then the spirit of god begins to search so what's the solution to a gang up of witches he searches into the depths of god into the things that are hidden in god he will give you an answer that in the natural you will call it funny but therein lies the power of that mystery just like when the lord told me i was about to be a manager in the oil industry he told me to resign and i did when i did i came back home then i took it fast i said okay now how will i feed these people you told me to resign and you did not ask these people to leave if you come to my house you'll be disappointed there are inhabitants there there are inhabitants you'll be disappointed okay you didn't ask them to leave that means you have a plan and i began to search i began to search you know what he told me 
after four days of searching, he said, Teach the Bible. I said, Ah, teach the Bible. So, what I wanted to do was let me behave as if I'm obeying. Then, after one year, we come back. If it doesn't work, say, You know, you said I should teach the Bible as an answer to the poverty that you have exposed us to. God spoke to me about resigning in September. I resigned in October. I still had one month salary, which is the October salary. So I started the prayers in November. November, you say, teach the Bible. So I said, I wanted to do that for one year and obey so that when it doesn't work, because it's not going to work, then I'll go to him and say, see what you said. Second of December was my birthday. So on my birthday, people began to send me money. And when they sent me money on the 2nd of December, when the last alert came into my phone, I calculated how much came to me that day. It was my one-month salary that came in one day. So I now went and said, I said, eh. <laughs> You know why it's difficult for you to comprehend? It's a mystery. It doesn't make sense to your mind. Do you know that I never had the opportunity to go back to God to tell him, hey, this thing you said I should do, it didn't work out. He showed me that my salary, in the, because, you know, those days in the oil industry, that's the best job you can have in Nigeria. That's the best. Oh my God. We felt like the most privileged people. Do you understand? I thought that was the best God could do. Until he asked me to resign, he gave me my salary in one day. I said, what? That, that means that's not the best you can do. There's something more than the oil industry. See? I said, okay. You said I could teach the Bible? Oh. <laughs> I continue. That's how I stood before kings, teaching the Bible. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, there we... They say, who is this man? Was he there when they wrote the Bible? Call him. Hey, what did you? He said, teach the Bible. So recently now, somebody wanted to appreciate me. I went to teach the Bible. So we left. The people wanted to appreciate me. And when I saw the alert, it was my two years salary. Two years. Yes. Teach what? the Bible. The Holy Ghost has the solution to all our problems, past, present, and future. But, you see, the average believer doesn't want to explore the fellowship of the mystery. Meanwhile, this arrangement was set up so that your spirit will have the capacity can ride. How many of you think I like being an object of controversy? Nobody likes that. At least I, for my wife's sake, I don't like that. So that she can sleep, I don't like that. But there's a place, he took my hand. I didn't want to, he took me there. He said, you are going to operate custom, custom duty. Custom, yes. The head of custom. So that when contraband wants to be smuggled into the country, you'll be there to inspect and to discard it. I didn't assign myself that role. Oh my, you're not with me. <laughs> so I'm, a, I'm the custom officer. <laughs> See false doctrine of some people came up that there's miracle money that God is releasing money into people's account. I'm I'm a custom office. When contraband wants to come into the body of Christ, it rings alarm. So I come with scriptures to contend with it. I didn't choose that role, I didn't choose it. But now that I know that I'm chosen for it, I prepared myself for it like, like a soldier in scriptures in spirit yes and i don't retreat it is is that it are you i don't i'm not afraid of the faces of men because god used that in 300 level in the university he said be not afraid he, he, ah, he has given me orientation i didn't want to go there but he helped me by then. those of you that still listen to people that say go where you are celebrated you are in the outer court you you are lost. Lost. 
Jesus was not a motivational preacher. He preached the kingdom, and the kingdom is without compromise. This is the will of God and nothing more. Our ministry almost scattered. Crisis broke out. I ran to him. I said, what is this? You didn't tell me of these kind of problems. How do we solve it? Prayed for three days. On the third day, he came to me on my knees. He said, stand still. And you will see the salvation of God. For the Egyptians that you see today. You will see them no more and forever. So I kept on. And I watched God fulfill his counsel. I didn't need to do anything. You are too wise. That's why you are not going there. The problem of poverty solved it because it took me into the knowledge of the mystery. The problem of crisis in, in the church it solved it. It took me into the knowledge of the mystery. Every time I have a challenge, I go back and then the Holy Spirit begins to search. Like tonight, as we begin to pray in tongues, he will start, I'm used to it, he will start searching. He will start searching. He will start searching. We are going to travel tonight. He has all the answers. You say, oh, there's an economic situation. Ah, calm down. The earth realm, you know, the earth, the description of the earth is insufficient. The description of the heavens is sufficient. And God intended that the heavens will always support the earth. If you decide to operate in the flesh and on the earth, you will always have insufficiency. But we need to journey into the dimensions of God where there is no sufficiency. You see, Zechariah was speaking about his insufficiency. I'm an old man and my wife is well stricken in years. That's how the earth is. Insufficient. Menopause has entered. There's no way out. He said, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of the Lord and I bring you glad tidings that wife Elizabeth shall conceive and she shall bear a son. There shall be joy and gladness at his birth. But he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias the prophet. See, there's sufficiency there, there's insufficiency. Until that realm opens up to swallow up the insufficiency, this is how we will continue. You will keep describing the economy, all the indices of the performance of the economy. I am not of this world. I have access to resources beyond time and beyond space. My life will not be defined by the economy of Nigeria. Though a troop rise up against me, they do not know where my strength resides. He said, by the Lord, I shall break through a troop. By the Lord, I will leap over a wall. If you have not factored God into the equation, you are not yet ready to fight me. We are going for a search program now. So that the Holy Spirit can, can take us into the hidden things of God. Uh, the Bible says that these things were put in place for our advantage. He doesn't want you to be disadvantaged. He said the Spirit is the one that helps with our infirmities. He knows that your weaknesses are legitimate, but in the Spirit of God, there is help for your infirmities. Oh my God. Are you crying about the invasion of witchcraft that has plundered the family? And all the male members of the family are given to alcohol and they are buried under alcohol. There seems to be a waste that has been unleashed to eat up the fortunes of the clan, the fortunes of the family. Every male is hid under the yoke of alcohol. And you have wondered, how will this darkness come to an end? You say, with men, these things might be impossible, but not with God, for with God, all things. Kapone, he said, all things are possible. For he giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. For even the youths are faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like the eagles. They shall walk and not faint. They shall run and not be weary. There is sufficiency in the spirit. The physical realm is a realm of lack, a realm of insufficiency, a realm of infirmity. That's why the Bible says that we are the circumcision. 
we worship God in spirit we rejoice in Christ Jesus and we have no confidence in the flesh the flesh is measured the flesh is limited is the source of our least potential but in the spirit of God we have access to our greatest potential we will not faint because he comes to give power to them that have faith and to them that have no might he increases strength that's why apostle paul could say i can do all things through christ the resources in the dimensions of god cannot be consumed by the onslaught of the devil so we take our journey we'll take our pilgrimage we'll take our journey to climb into the dimensions of the spirit. Isto selina tabo, bokomba bisketa, boko deli, hai komba suda, ke go beskente li, ni ko bandolo roko bosi, lai kombe de ke di alama. We give a power to the faith. To them that have no might, he increases strength. For even the youth shall fail. The youth shall be weary. The young men, they shall totally fall. Vuvelia si kopambola, rubo kose, wamena hiko batwa, resko bela hiko pamo, rombe sabakata. Is Kobe Godes and Nico Paletale, is Sosada, Lai Campo de Kede, Nisco Beco Bonda Baboco Sale, Abresco Bama Natalia, is Oseleto. We mount up. The answers are not on the ground. What you meet on the ground are serpents and scorpions. But if we have the advantage of flight to mount up, to mount up with wings to the heights of the heavens, let us see. Landebosi, Lakabosi, Eliasi, Kolinobosi, Labroko Pokotolia, Bilaba, Samiro Pesco, Nisa Sade, Koba Babala, Latodoko Potolia, Iskopema. Lord, we cry to thee. Hey! Abose Kalanto, Pomena Lisa Yeke. I can pass it. I can pass it too, sir. I can put the balatua. Embrace Balato says him. Balamantani. He's so brave. A boskebo campo tabo. A pantalata de no bocorga. A suce. A balata. For the earth will be sustained by the heavens. Return, return. That we might look upon you. See and over. Pape Baila. From the Kedi, at the Bokonte Baba, last get up and go back over. Every time I'm at the Lalabas, run the Lalalalabas. I can't find no cover. I'm not scared. 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 You can find an answer with the Holy Ghost, for the Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. Nigo Basila, na na masa, every ten babo. You will find insufficiency in the natural, but there is sufficiency in the supernatural. I take my journey! Can you take your journey in the Holy Ghost? Search! Search! Search, O oh Holy Ghost! Tilo Basica! Raske to poboki ali, seminete bonge bakuta asalata. Raisa bo, bala bo, aka bo, jena bo, langa basaka, aka bala balosa, asesi asaita bo, abres aye, abres kubala, abre matoko, abre sinde, iska bela tonde, abre sala, eka bakwade, abre sabala tu abala. Abraka basada bako, ebrekete, iskopa mena kota bo, rada la 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 basa, iskaya kala, rotaya, rotaya, aga ben sonse, iko boko 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 boko, rada boko boko taye, abrisko bako, banda kope, 
We just did a movie. You must have watched it. Oh, you don't know how much trouble I've been exposed to because of that movie. And we didn't make, we just acted. The trouble of which I speak have come from pastors. Now we have received not the spirit of this world, but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. We have not received the spirit which is of this world, but the spirit which is of God that we may know. <laughs> oh my, that we may know, that we may know. He gave you the Holy Ghost so that you will know. There is spiritual knowledge that will equip you for destiny. Knowledge on how to combat the resistance that is arrayed against you. Knowledge on how to survive in the battle that you have fought since you were born. We have received a spirit. Can you pray today and say, Holy Ghost, make me wise. Holy Ghost, make me wise. There is a knowledge I need to know that will equip me for destiny cry to him right now make me know make me know cry we have come we have come to make supplication 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 to make intercession there is a knowledge there is a knowledge there is a knowledge that we must receive there is a knowledge that we must receive. We have come, we have come to make intercession, to make supplication. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
problema na shuke pambola tua esko bokote niga bains kantoma rekati le ije na gibo koria bahandro sama baga pakaya uskete we dogo bi rakaiinto bagodo ibo pesko pamba natalia isko bega siko bila kate koko rosira. So menai gomba, so menai gombeskato. Thank you, thank you. Zemino kope babi nasite, beras kompa bona, alai kompezo, miko sato, beranasi, beranakampale. Aske to be no kope zalatwa, isko be matile, isese, ika presko fatwa, mahesa menana, mahesi kopraske to bono. Babo babo siya rika pamba ahas. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching. Do well to subscribe, like, share the video to your loved ones so they can receive what God is doing from this platform. You can also follow us on all our social media platforms. We are on Instagram, we are on Facebook, and we are on Twitter. Thank you.